The Guardian says about John Wick 2, John Wick Chapter 2 is a shameful example of Hollywood gun pornography. Good job, The Guardian. The whole article is bashing on why John Wick 2 is a horrible movie because there's too much violence in it. When the reality is, is that John Wick 2 succeeds because of the violence. This is an action movie. If you've seen the previous John Wick, you would know that the, the stylized fighting in an action movie was brilliant, brilliantly chore choreographed. It was fun, entertaining, and it's what really modern Hollywood movies, if they're going to do action movies, should strive to be, is to use John Wick as an example. And especially, John Wick 2 has only been improved dramatically. If you love the first John Wick, you're definitely going to love John Wick 2. The stylized action movie Guns Blazing is right back in the action. And the film succeeds mainly because a lot of these stunts are actually real. Keanu Reeves, one of my favorite actors of all time, simply because I used to, I grew up watching The Matrix. I kid you not, one of the things that I used to do when I was 10 years old, 10, 11, is I would watch The Matrix, right? And the fight scenes that would happen, because I'm a big, I love martial art movies. Um, one of the things that I would do is I would sit in front of the TV, I would watch the fight scenes, and then I would, with my imagination, I would get back and I would pretend to do all the fighting techniques and shit that they did in the movie. I even did that with Star Wars, um, when they would fight with lightsabers and stuff, and I would just try to copy, you know, their fighting styles and stuff. It's something that I, I just did a lot as a child with these types of movies. Keanu Reeves is extremely, for how old he is, he is not only a great actor, he is physically extremely well fit, and he does all these, his own stunts. And that's not to say a lot of people in Hollywood don't do their own stunts. They have stunt doubles who roll, who drive. His he, he knows how to drive professionally the car, there was a car seat chase scene in this movie that was just excellent, by the way. The story basically is John Wick 2 gets a bounty put on his head and everybody's after him to kill him. There's a bit more to the story than that, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. If you want to see an action movie that will not disappoint you, that is high paced action, constantly, consistently, all the way through the two hour duration of this film, you will not be disappointed. And that may actually be kind of a weak point because this film doesn't let you breathe legitimately doesn't let you sit back and relax because from the start, from the get-go, it just keeps going with guns ablazing. And that's not a weak point like The Guardian is trying to say that this film is bad because it has too much violence. In fact, violence is something that should happen more in action movies. I don't like watered-down movies like, what was the last Die Hard movie? It was horrible. I like films with a big fucking R. An R that is deserved because of violence, because of killing, because of guns, or because of profanity, or because of whatever they do, and they do it well. And John Wick 2 succeeds in doing it. Keanu Reeves fits the character of John Wick. He fits the kind of badass motherfucker who knows how to shoot and kill people for a living. The first film was such a success with how low of budget that it had. The budget was almost doubled for John Wick 2 that now John Wick 3 will almost guaranteed be happening. Good action movies don't happen much in Hollywood. And because of that, that's why I'm recommending you go see John Wick 2. Hollywood's known for distorting and making horrible action films with tons of CGI, with tons of stunt doubles with tons of wires, a huge turnoff to me in those types of films. And a lot of the rolling, a lot of the fighting, a lot of the choreographed fight scenes are so well done that it will keep you at the edge of your seat for the entire duration of this two-hour flick. So have you seen John Wick 2? If so, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of John Wick. And as always, I will see you guys tomorrow for Face Palm Sunday. Thank you for watching this video.